Papa Podcasts presents Students Teaching Students, a lesson taught by Allison from grade 9 of the year 2011. Today's lesson will be on the subject of geography, which is faulting. I chose to do this lesson because it's not a part of the grade 9 textbook, and I hope it helps the incoming grade 9s. So I hope you enjoy! So let's start off by introducing the four types of faults that I will be explaining today. There are four types of faults. Grab in, Horst, Normal, and Reversed Faults. Next, I'm going to show you the difference between a proper definition of faulting and a more comprehensive definition of faulting. The proper definition of faulting is when enormous stresses of land push and interact rock masses beyond their yield limit. Comprehensive definition of faulting. When a large segment of land, which is the fault, pull from each other or push against each other so that the piece of land breaks apart from its original figure. That one was easier to understand, right? Now I'll be explaining two parts of a fault. The important parts of a fault. First, there's the stress. The stress is the part of land that performs the actual process of faulting. Second is fault line. The fault line is the part of the stress where it actually separates. Now I'm going to show you the different types of faults. First, there's grabbing. This fault has two fault lines and it's when the stress of land pulls away from each other and it creates a kind of hole in the ground. If you had to picture a grab and fault, it would look like this. The second fault is a horse fault. Similar to grabbing, this has two fault lines, but the stress of land push against each other, causing the land in the middle to rise. If you had to picture a horse fault, it would look like this. The next fault is a normal fault, and this fault only has one fault line and the stress of land pushes against each other, creating a hill. If you had to picture a normal fault, it would look like this. The last fault is a reversed fault, and this fault is really similar to the normal fault, with only one fault line, and the stress also pushes against each other. The one difference is that this one creates a cliff. If you would have to picture a reversed fault, it would look like this. So that's it to the lesson of faulting for geography. Hope you liked my take on students teaching students.